Football Ireland quarter final. Of course, tomorrow here in Croke Park, there's going to be plenty of action, particularly on the Sunday game live. Kerry against Limerick, a repeat of that Munster Championship clash tomorrow, starting in RT2 at 1.30. Cross is coming in. Oh, that is almost <laughs> a great kick. It looked as if it was going over the bar. It was, it was ambitious. Big distance. And just drifts off. You can see the big curl on Marty is coming across. That's from the slicer. Nearly made it. Porrick uh, O'Neill showed the way just a while ago with uh, a fantastic shot from distance. Not quite that time for James Kavanagh. Half an hour played. Dunny Goal haven't scored since the eighth minute. That's a long, long time in an All Ireland quarter final. Long time in a club match, never mind an All Ireland quarter final. And still, only two points down. Hugh McGrill. To Robert Kelly. Normally plays midfield for his club Strafford. Oh, nice. Lays it off to Eamon Callan. Can he score from there? No, he can't. Disappointment for Callan. Scored four points in the second half against Meath. Seems to uh, always leave the best of uh, what's in the engine until that second period. Yeah, he really showed us his pace there, he burned the ground. Gunny Gall defenders couldn't catch him, and I was sure he was going to score. It wasn't a difficult one, but um, again, he pulled it a wee bit and went left and wide. This is the man that played international soccer at schoolboy level. Paul Durkin, same year he won an All-Ireland Vocational Schools title. Ono Flaherty lays it off to Eamon Callum. Will he go for it again? There's confidence, having just missed one, he said to heck with it, I'll get this one. Kildare stretch their lead. Yeah, it's a great one, lovely little pass inside from O'Flaherty, opens it up, and that's the confidence you were talking about, Marty. Let's have a go at it, and he puts it over, and you have to say, unless Donegal can get their transition game from the defence into the attack, score of two points after uh, 32 minutes is just uh, just not acceptable at this level of football interesting in a game of strategy and tactics the Kildare half forward line have all scored O'Neill one Flaherty three Eamon Callaghan one but nobody in the inside line although they keep pumping the balls into them Carl Lacey sweeps up lays it off quickly effectively ends up with Michael Hegarty Nice layoff. Damon McGee. Kevin Cassidy. McGee is available along the sideline. Hegarty going for distance. Ball snapped up by Anthony Thompson. Back pass Colin McFadden. Looking around for the support from outside. Good block down by Hugh McGrill. Eamon Callan lays it off to Brian Flanagan. Emmett Bolton hits it a little bit too strong for O'Connor. Six foot five. Paul Durkin comes off his goal line. Good play, Dunny Goal. Michael Hegarty going for long ball themselves. Remember, they're now playing with Michael Murphy in the full forward line. Has a goal. It's going to go wide. Four wides for Dunny Goal. Five wides for Kildare. Over 33 minutes played. And that wasn't an easy one for Murphy to open his account with. Might have worked the position a little bit better. Putting it wide on his own side and didn't have quite the power. It's tense. It's nail-biting in Crook Park. This is Morgan O'Flaherty. Made his... Uh, First appearance for his county at senior level uh, three years ago against Wicklow. Played corner back for a while. Looks like to have a, an eye problem or a lens problem there. Kieran McGinney, captain of Armagh, of course, to not all Ireland in 2002. Acknowledged that he is doing a really good job with Kildare.
25 minutes gone since Donegal scored. Three minutes at a time in the first half. Robert Kelly bravely going down. Picked up by Neil Gallagher. Over this side is Kevin Cassidy. Goals for the long ball. Goalkeeper comes off his line. There's a call. This is clear. Sweeping up Brian Flanagan. Coming forward, Michael Foley. Solid fullback. Flaherty gets by the challenge of Carl Lacey. Foley again. That's a really good ball from a fullback. Diagonal. Ideal for James Kavner. Confronting him, Frank McGlynn. Kavner loves the space of Kirk Park. Two Donegal players as the Ulster champions backtrack. Darrell Flynn has a pop. Ball is wide. Good defending Donegal. Certainly was, but you have to really admire the burst from uh, Michael Foley, who's having a tremendous championship this year. Won it in the back, back uh, line, moved it forward with hand passing and then a lovely foot pass into James Cabinet, developed the chance. Unfortunately, Darrell Flynn swung a, an ugly looking boot at it and it was a poor wide. Paddy McGrath there in the substitute bench. Emmett Bolton and Michael Hegarty wait for the kick out. Aimed at Robert Kelly. Neil Gallagher picked up by Johnny Doyle. Eamon Callagher coming this side is Porrig O'Neill. Taking on Eamon McGee. Back outside for his own Flaherty. There's nobody in the middle. There is now. Brian Flanagan, Darrell Flynn, Robert Kelly. Retaining possession. Ball given away by Darrell Flynn. Good interception by Carl Lacey. Neil Gallagher lays it off quickly to David Walsh. Tenacious work by Kildare, but it still ends up in Neil Gallagher's grasp. Eamon McGee. Slipping one through. Fires McFadden. Darrell Flynn is back there. Floating one in over to the corner. And there's nobody there. Good defending by Kildare. We praised Donegal a moment ago. But they need to come up with a better plan up front. They need to find Michael Murphy. And they need to find McFadden. And perhaps Kevin... Maybe the, the two men up front should play a little bit deeper. Well, they just seem to have no uh, point of attack at the moment. It's drifting across the field and that last phase for about a minute and a half from both teams really was all that's dreadful about the game. Ohno Flaherty. And that's another bit of it. Just so poor the standard, I'd have to say. Deep into injury time. Heading towards that third minute. Ryan Bradley. Rob Kelly running out of steam. Sending the ball in towards McFadden. Was he being held? On the point of departure by McLaughlin. Referee allows the play to go on. Carl Lacey has to go back for his Neil Gallagher. Michael Hegarty having a go. Still in play. There's a chance here. The hard-working Mark McHugh finally puts it over the bar. We've been waiting a long time. This is Donegal's first score since the eighth minute. And we've now got 38, almost 39 minutes on the clock. And perhaps to celebrate that particular score, the referee, David Coldrick, has blown the half-time whistle. Level twice in the first half. Morgan O'Flaherty has been doing well at centre half back, but Owen O'Flaherty has been doing all the scoring for the Lily Whites with three. Half time score in Croke Park. It's Kildare five points, Donegal three. And if uh, you want to put it another way, in terms of eight points, seven of those came from came from play. Let's see what happens in the second half as uh, we hope and pray that it will be a little bit better than what we saw in the first half. Still interesting though, from a tactical point of view, what the two managers will produce. And thus, that's what we were talking about. Tony go. come away with it.
Rory Cuff. Mark McHugh. Well won. By Hugh McGrillan. Morgan O'Flaherty. Robert Kelly. Interesting that John Doyle seemed to start the second half around the edge of the square. Morgan O'Flaherty waiting behind his brother Owen for the delivery. Gives it instead to Eamon Callaghan. Long ball to Thomas O'Connor hasn't really worked so far. Rory Kavner. Mark McHugh. Goes forward. Now lays it off to Michael Hegarty. Kevin Cassidy. Aims for Michael Murphy. And again, plenty of defenders back. This is centre half back Morgan O'Flaherty. And he's fouled. Tori O'Neill. Owen O'Flaherty. Back outside fires Robert Kelly. Johnny Doyle leading this team, hopefully from his perspective, into an All-Ireland semi-final. Word from the sideline was that he was encouraging his players as they were running down the tunnel to get a, an early goal, if at all possible. We've had little or no opportunity of that. And when you consider that uh, Dunny Gall, in contrast, didn't score between the 8th and the 38th minute of the first half, it reflects the defensive dominance. Never met a man yet that turned down an early goal. <laughs> well, maybe it's exactly the spark that we need for either one of these teams. Ball is dropping in, and it's over the bar. Ono Flaherty gets his second point from a free, and his fourth overall very nice strike isn't it beautiful Each point, every point is going to count now it's so tight Eamon McGee David Walsh Michael Hegarty Kevin Cassidy McFadden fails to get there Darren Flynn was back as uh, a defensive midfielder as such, helping out his half back line. Michael Hegarty is struggling there, Marty. I think it's a knee injury he has. That's why he knocked the ball out of the hand. He needs a bit of a bit of attention. Physio arriving to uh, ensure that Michael Hegarty can continue on. Jim McGuinness, another change required momentarily. Dermot Malloy, we started centre half forward against Antrim on the 15th of May. And our first uh, game covered live by the Sunday game. Darl Flick. Neil McGee wins that particular tussle. Mark McHugh. Under a little bit of pressure from Emmett Bolton. Johnny Doyle. That is a really good effort. Come back up the post to O'Connor. But was he inside the small rectangle? The referee is going in for a consultation with his umpires. Tony Carney is the umpire on the goals. He has to give it. It's come back off the post, bringing him on side. As, as such, and he's disallowing it. Oh. Goal disallowed. Let's watch this again. Was it a square ball? Ah, uh, not at all. Sure, look at he stopped on, on the front of the line. He has to go in after it. Well, my my uh, opinion on that is that it's a perfectly legitimate goal. Normally, when they come off the woodwork, they play everybody on side as such. That's very difficult to be in before before that. Here's Michael Murphy at the other end. And that's a very quick response by Donegal. 
Goal disallowed at the Davin end. Point scored.